Chris, what's the overriding feeling after tonight? A bit of frustration. I felt like we had quite a few opportunities to to kick goals that we sort of mucked up at the last last moment. In a, in a game that's as tight as that, you look back at all those little uh, moments in the game where you couldn't complete a play. Um, you know, accuracy was a little bit off. I mean, it was a tough, hard game of football. There was you, you can't deny that. Two teams went at it. Uh, but when it comes, when it's as close as that, they're the sort of things that you notice. You know, the, the plays you don't complete, the shots that you miss, um, that sort of thing. So that's that's the frustration. Chris, did you, did you feel like you didn't get enough from your forwards tonight, except for maybe Gunston, maybe Charlie? But overall, yeah. did you feel? Like... I, I think that's a fair reason why the Dogs won. They were able to win the contested ball when it went inside 50. Um, I think we were minus 17 in that part of the ground. So that's definitely an area that we need to have a little bit of a look at, um, you know, um, that's contest by your forwards, it might be the way we delivered the ball, we certainly didn't get it inside 30 enough, deep enough, so uh, have to have a look at the tape to see the exact reasons, but you, you're 100% right. How significant did you think the centre clearance count was tonight, because that was quite lopsided? The yeah, they didn't it. score a lot from them, but they got territory, and that, that put pressure on us, so uh, definitely... Um, you know, it was, a, it was an area that we were terrific in last week, but not so good tonight. They had they had the ascendancy there, and that, that no doubt helped them as well. Does a performance like that from Lockie Neal, I mean, it was 31 touches and contested possession was everywhere. In a scrappy game like that, does the captain's performance sort of really elevate the group? Yeah, I think he set a great example to his teammate. There's no, no teammates, there's no doubt about that. Um, Lockie's that sort of player, you know. Um, and we just probably needed a couple more like him tonight, um, at that level, and you know, in a tight game, it might have gone in a different in a different way. How do you think Josh Dunkley handled, handled his first game against his old? Yeah, player? look, he, he didn't he didn't play his greatest game, but he's very competitive, like he always is, and and uh, had had a real go. So uh, no, Josh, he'd be disappointed with his game, but but um, yeah, he made a decent contribution and did some things during the night that really courageous things that, to try and lift the team. Does Joe Danaher frustrate you sometimes as much as he frustrates us watching on? He had that, I think, four behinds and he had that shot that he, from 50, nearly could have given to Charlie. And yeah. s Does that sort of... Do you speak to him about that or is yeah, how do you approach oh, obviously, that? Obviously, we'll review the game and talk about missed opportunities um, and that'll be part of the feedback that, that comes his way. Down, the inconsistencies between games, you know, you struggled against the power, but then scintillating against Melbourne. Like, it must be a bit frustrating knowing yeah. what you're capable of. I think tonight was a different game. I, I, I think you're judging Western Bulldogs too harshly. They're a very, very good side, and they've just had a couple of, um, you know, quieter weeks um, uh, in, in, in the first two games of the season. But um, yes, frustrated against Port. Really good against Melbourne. It was an honest effort by us tonight, but we didn't play with any polish. And a part of that was to do with, with Western Bulldogs' pressure, um, but it was a high-pressure game. It was a finals-like game. Lots of mistakes were made. Um, you know, I'm not walking away from here tonight thinking... Uh, look, I was really disappointed after Port Adelaide performance tonight. Uh, disappointed, but not for the same reasons. And so Hugh McCluggage sort of um, managed to get it, get, come to terms with... Uh, the remodeled midfield, I suppose, given you've added Ashcroft and Dunkley in there. Well, I suppose, how, how do you view Hughes' start to the season? Um, I had a quiet game against Port, with, along with everybody else. Uh, really good last week. Um, probably um, an average performance tonight, in fairness. But I don't think that's got anything to do with the, who's in our midfield now. I think it's just a little bit off. Coming off a rising star, Nom, uh, Will Ashcroft, he was... Pretty, pretty well composed, I thought, today. Did his composure come into the club and it was already a standout, or was that grown as he's spent it like, longer at the club? No, no, he's, he's like that as a junior, so he's been able to bring that to, to AFL football, um, which, is, which is a great thing for us. Is there any, any observations about the turf? There was some footage of one of the parts of the turf coming out and having to be put back in. Was there any concern on your end from that? Oh, I was worried about more yeah, things than the yeah. turf replacement, so I'm not even aware of that. Yeah. But there was a pretty significant moment early in the game for Jamara Eugle um, Hagen where he recreated Nicky Winmar's sort of I I'm proud gesture. Yeah, I um, didn't see that. Good on him. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's a beautiful photo. It's been a tough week for him. You know, yeah. broad brush for the game. You admire his 
he stands for a young player. Yeah, I do. I think it was a, a good thing to do. I didn't realise he did it, but um, good on him. You went down to the bench in the last quarter, having started the season up there. What, yeah. What's your mindset around all that? I just thought a little bit of encouragement, a bit of energy um, amongst the players. Tried to keep them up and about. It was a pretty tough sort of game. Uh, it didn't work, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, you know, I'm not sort of limiting myself to, to whether I'm upstairs or downstairs. Um, this year, and a lot of other coaches do that too, so I don't think it's that unusual that I came down in the last quarter. It's just try, trying to encourage the boys. It's a pretty tough game of footy tonight. I know you've been asked this uh, a million times, including by me, Chris, but uh, Joe Danaher's snap early, and we always have this debate about Joe snapping or kicking from set shots. He missed a, what, what looked externally like an easy one early. Do you offer him any instructions on like that or just let him do what he wants to do? No, we practice all the time, you know. Um, he has his good days and his bad days. Um, we'd like him to be more accurate. Um, and we'll just keep working away at it. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Thanks Gus. Thank